I want to share this with the audience. This is called Three Eyes of the Business Owner. And uh, the business owner being an entrepreneur, and it's based on a book by, uh, it's called The E-Myth Revisited by um, Michael Gerber. And it starts in this book, it starts with uh, a lady that wanted to uh, start a pie shop. She learned how to make pies with her aunt when she was a kid, and the, the experience and the energy and the feelings and the emotions and everything were just fabulous. And she says, I'm going to go start a pie shop. And the story opens up, it's 11 o'clock at night, she's in the back and she's covered with flowers. She's the only one there. She's got to make 50 pies before she's, you know, because that's the orders that are due. All her employees left, you know, and she's stuck and she's not a happy camper, you know, because she's, this is not what she signed up for, right? <laughs> this isn't what she wanted. And so Michael goes ahead and he, and he goes ahead and outlines this. So Michael Gerber, Brian Tracy, they collaborate a lot and that's how we got this tool here. So, so we, you know, when it comes to an entrepreneur and a business owner, that first vision is a little bit outwardly focused um, and this is where we're talking about, um, you know, what kind of products and services, you know, might I be able to provide? And we say, what if and how can I? And, uh, you know, this is where products and services are born. And uh, then we do the certain things. We start, the, we launch this thing. We start to deliver these products and services. And now we have to shift the business or shift their view a little bit internally, right, inside on the business. This is the manager role, right? We ask a different set of questions. We say when and how much and how many. Make sure that we're delivering our products with good quality, good standards. And if we're not careful, you know, as we deliver more and more products and services, we can shift into the third role, which is called the technician role, right? We also refer to this as googly eyes, right? This is where Mary's at in the pie shop, where she's responsible for ordering and picking up and making and baking and delivery and all those other kinds of things. And uh, it just gets kind of crazy, right? And it's a place that we can get into if we're not very careful. And what we look at is how do we get out of this particular role? So in the technician role, if you find yourself there, and we find a lot of people, a lot of founders that are in this particular role, it's about learning how to scale. And the way you want to learn how to scale is you have to look at the actual actions and tasks that are associated with the technician role. And then you identify um, what and how can I move those off to somebody else, right? How can I get those somebody else? And often we look at it and we say a technician role. In a technician role, let's say you're, 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 you're a CPA or an accountant or something like that, or you want to hire a delivery guy, how much would you pay a delivery guy? Right. What do you I, think? How much per hour? $16 an hour. $16 per hour, right? And, uh, and then say you get a bunch of delivery guys. You have delivery guys in your business, right. right? And now you have to have a manager manage those guys. How much would you pay the manager? Probably 50000 a year. At minimum. 20, 25 bucks an hour, fifty grand. Right. Okay. And the market sets those two rates, right? Because if you don't pay $16 an hour, if you don't pay $25 an hour, you're not going to get an employee that you want. But now you're the entrepreneur, you're the owner. Who sets the market rate for the owner? Right. Yeah. Yeah, the owner gets to pick whatever they want, right? So let's just assume the owner wants to make 100 bucks an hour, $200,000 a year, $150,000 a year, whatever. It doesn't matter, right? The key is uh, we use a 2,000 hour rate. You divide by 2,000, get your hourly rate. If you want to make 75 or 100 or 150 bucks an hour, you have to do work that's equal to $150 an hour. And delivering stuff in the truck is not worth 150 bucks an hour. Right. So we look at all of these different roles up and down the line, we say which ones are worth $150 an hour, which ones are worth less, and then we start to figure out different solutions to get those done so that you can spend your time making $150 an hour. Because if you're making $150, you can certainly pay somebody else $16, right? If you're making $150, you can certainly pay somebody else $25. Uh, the other thing that's really interesting here is in the study, the analysis when it comes to uh, acquisition, to, uh, selling your business, um, the study shows that 80% of the business valuation comes out of the first two roles, the entrepreneur and the manager. And that 80% of that 80% added comes out of the entrepreneur role, which is where products and services are born, right? And so as an entrepreneur, you have to spend time in those areas. So this being sort of appropriate to the time component that we talked about right. for, for your emerging market folks, right? Um, understanding that this is the model to, and from an emerging market standpoint, um, what are the kinds of things you might suggest to them they might look at to, to move out? How, how, will, how could you help them a little bit more effectively? I know you're going to service them with products and services. Right. But. Yeah, we're going to take care of them on our side of it. But, you know, from, from my standpoint is that I'm going to probably, if somebody came to me and said, hey, listen, I can't do it anymore. I'm driving me crazy. I'm trying to do everything. I'm cook. I'm, you know, busboy. I'm doing I said, you know, we probably would try and get them in touch with somebody that's already in the business, somebody, another restaurateur and, that has been through what they've been through and try and hook them together. Just go, hey, 
you know, I don't know the answers to how to help you, how to get out of this, but I know somebody that does. Yeah, somebody and that's connect been the there dots. before. Connect the dots and again, help them succeed, connect those dots and hopefully they take it. You know I mean, there, I, we have a, a client, in fact, we don't even do business with him anymore, but two of the people on his advisory board are people I recommended to him. I said, hey, you need to get these guys on your board.